Really since they started becoming a thing, I've always found it difficult to justify purchasing or really even the existence of more expensive, more premiumly built, higher in spec'd out Chromebooks. Chrome OS always ran so well on low-end devices that buying a $200 Chromebook with low-end specs or buying a five, $600 Chromebook with much higher-end specs, at the end of the day, your experience was going to be so similar, it was difficult for me to ever recommend anybody, yeah, you should buy a six, seven, eight hundred dollar Chromebook, right? There was just not enough there to justify the existence of a device like that. However, that may be finally about to change. And we're not talking about necessarily six, seven, eight hundred, but in fact, even four hundred dollar Chromebooks. We have today the announcement that Google is partnering with other OEMs. They're not making Pixel Books anymore. But instead, they're partnering with other OEMs to create something called the Chromebook Plus. You can see some of them on the screen now. These are going to launch on October the 8th, and they're going to start at $399 and go up from there. So what makes a Chromebook Plus a Chromebook Plus? How do you differentiate a normal Chromebook from the Plus variant? Well, it starts with the hardware. In order to be a Plus Chromebook, you have to meet certain hardware specifications, right? You have to have at least a 12th gen Core i3 or a Ryzen 3 7000 to be a plus. Anything lower end than that, you're not gonna meet that threshold. You also have to have eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of SSD storage. Those are both, to me, pretty much minimums at this point. Eight gigs of RAM on a Chromebook is so much better than four, even with Chrome OS these days. You need more RAM than four gigs. So again, to be a plus, you're gonna have to be at least a pretty decent Chromebook. Now, I actually have recently purchased a Chromebook that has eight gigs of RAM, but it does not have the i3 processor. It's an N3000, and I actually find it to be a pretty solid device, but some things it does struggle with using uh, apps like LumaFusion, really not a particularly great experience. So that would not be a Chromebook Plus. You also do have to have a 1080p webcam and at least a full HD IPS panel. So no more resolution on anything. This is the new standard for these devices. Beyond hardware though, okay, what's the point? Like I said, you've got a plus, but what does that mean? What does that get you? Well, they're actually gonna start shipping software features to these plus devices to differentiate it. How about going to Google Photos and you're gonna have access to Magic Eraser, just like you do on your Pixel devices. What about file syncing through Google Drive? That is another potentially really useful feature in particular, since you're gonna have at least 128 gigs of storage now. In this other screenshot just a second ago, you probably noticed background blur, noise cancellation. These are going to be also features for Chromebook Plus devices exclusively. Another really cool one you can see sort of playing out on the screen now is the ability to generate a wallpaper, cats in the style of Van Gogh, and it's gonna generate that wallpaper for you. So generative wallpapers are pretty interesting. How about another interesting feature? Using AI to help assist you with your writing, right? Clicking there, add some humor and emojis. It's gonna help you generate that sort of text all built in. So lots of AI features coming as well as some sort of Pixel phone style features coming as well. And I kind of alluded to this already, but if you have an older Chromebook that meets these specifications, can't be too much older, I guess, 12th gen, it can be a Chromebook Plus as well. And these features will roll out to you via software updates. One more thing that I actually did not include in my little tweet thread there that I assume based on the wording is coming to Chrome OS in general, we've already seen a sneak peek to this, is full-fledged Material U theming. As you can see there on the screen at this very moment, we are going to be getting a complete fresh coat of paint for Material U for Chrome OS coming hopefully very, very soon. I think that this looks really, really good and really differentiates Chrome OS from other operating systems on the market. It's a very, very unique look. It's a little bit of a blend of some different influences and I think it looks quite nice. Now I'm gonna try to get my hands on a Chromebook Plus device in the not so distant future so that I can review these features and bring this to you. But for right now, 
it is still coming October the 8th for the launch of these devices is what we can say at this moment. Hopefully all this stuff works really, really well. They actually put out a hype video for this where they showed off some other things that they're trying to push now, like using LumaFusion, using the Photoshop web app to do your photo edit. And they're really trying to position Chromebooks now as more premium devices, more capable devices, no longer just a glorified web browser, but actually fully featured devices with AI built right into them to get things done, to do interesting tasks, to edit videos, to edit photos, to consume media content. They're really, really trying to position Chrome OS and Chromebooks as a fully matured alternative to Windows, which I think is going to be nothing but extremely interesting going forward. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe for more coverage like this. And until next time, stay nerdy.